Rachel Williams and I go to California State University of Channel Islands. Um, would you mind giving me a description on your product? Yeah, so uh, View Into the Blue, we are uh, we automate subsea monitoring. Everything from visual uh, camera feeds to acoustics to telemetry data such as water temp, salinity, pH. And so all of our equipment is meant for long-term, not permanent deployment. So being able to essentially set and forget your equipment, but have continuous um, monitoring of, of any kind of subsea point, point of interest. So one of our biggest issues with that is biofouling. Anytime you put anything underwater for a long period of time, marine growth will start to take over that equipment. And so we've developed uh, and patented a self-cleaning device that keeps our camera lenses and housings clean and clear from any type of marine growth. And so it essentially works like brushing your teeth. You know, if you're able to keep any kind of marine growth from starting to happen, then you don't have any of those kind of crustaceans or calcium deposits that are really hard, really hard to remove. Yeah. Yeah, that makes total sense. I do have a question um, regarding the anti this anti fouling paint. Is that what you use? I'm sorry. Anti fouling paint, or what is it's anti fouling like products or? Products, yeah, so that's a little bit of the secret sauce. And so we have a number of different housings uh, mm -hmm. and different components or materials that those housings are made of. Okay. Um, typically, though, you know, if this part gets messy and messed up, not a huge deal. We're mainly concerned about the past that we keep a regular yeah. schedule of operating. So, just from someone who you know cares about marine life and their well-being, um, I know someone who um, is actually doing her thesis on anti-fouling paint and issues with like what happens to animals, like mussels and everything that the products from the anti-fouling paint that goes into the water. Do you know if the products with the anti-fouling, if it's going to be affecting any of those species? Right, so we don't use any kind of chemical properties mm -hmm. on our equipment. So okay. essentially, you know, there's no, whatever we put in the water, there's mm -hmm. no damage of any of those chemicals mm -hmm. falling off or get, getting into the water mm -hmm. column. It's essentially a, a powder coating mm -hmm. or a essentially a finished plastic or a plastic type that's used for oh. the actual housing, housing okay process. yeah that makes sense during your discussion in the um in the meeting like i'd actually seen that you you the anti-fouling paint bullet and i wanted to ask or not paint but the anti-fouling product that i wanted to ask you in person so yeah, that's part sure. of the reason why i wanted to ask okay yeah, so Sorry, you can finish what you're saying. No, I was gonna say. So, like, we try to make sure, like, so this product it's actual a uh, bronze um, material. Mm -hmm. So bronze in in the water column is just a natural deterrent mm -hmm. kind of marine growth. Yeah. They don't like it. They hate it. You know. Yeah. Just, like, just the same way that you throw a penny and it turns green. Okay. So that we try to stay more on kind of a physical side gotcha. of deterrent and anti-fouling versus a chemical side. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>